we're going to worship this morning. We can't wait to worship with you. So stand up, join with our motions, and sing along with us this morning. call your home. I don't know where you eat your meals or where you talk on the phone. I don't know if you got a cook, a butler, or a maid. I don't know if you got a yard with a hammock in the shade. But come and go with me to my father's house. Come and go with me to my father's house. It's a big, big house with lots and lots of room. A big, big table with lots and lots of food. It's a big, big yard where we can play football. Touchdown! Big, big house. It's my father's house. I don't know if you got some shelter, say a place to hide. I don't know if you live with friends in whom you can confide. I don't know if you got a family, say a mom or dad. I don't know if you feel love at all, but I bet you wish you had. So come and go with me to my father's house. Come and go with me to my father's house it's a big big house with lots and lots of room a big big table with lots and lots of food a big big yard where we can play football touchdown it's a big big house it's my father's house Sing that again with us. Come and go. So come and go with me to my father's house. Come and go with me to my father's house. It's a big, big house with lots and lots of room. A big, big table with lots and lots of food. A big, big yard. Where we can play football, a big, big house. So come and go with me to my father's house. Come and go with me to my father's house. It's a big, big house with lots and lots of room. A big, big table with lots and lots of food. A big, big yard where we can play football touchdown big big house it's my father's house hi guys welcome back my name is Valeska Mungia and today we're actually going to be talking about a wonder woman in the bible can you take a guess who it is mm, some of you got it right and some of you may need a little help. But before we get into that, we're going to go ahead and do a quick prayer. And then we're we'll getting to the story. Father God, thank you so much, so, so much for this day. Thank you because you have given us a wonderful, wonderful family, Lord. We thank you so much for Jesus. We thank you for our food and our clothes. And Lord, we thank you so, so much, Lord, for everything that you're doing, everything that you have done, and, and everything you're going to continue to do, Lord. I ask that you give us the strength to continue um, going to school. Summer is almost here, God, and I ask that you also meet us here as we learn more about the Wonder Women of the Bible. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So, like I said, today we're actually going to be talking about Esther. Actually, Queen Esther. For those of you who don't know, she was a queen. So, for starters, Esther lived with her uncle Mordecai and when Esther was around there was this king his name was King Xerxes 
And actually his officials, which are the people who used to work for him, came with, with the plan and they wanted to hurt the Jews. And so Esther, who was not a queen yet, she actually was really worried about her people because she was Jewish too. And so what happened was Mordecai, her uncle Mordecai, actually told her that to, she needed to be brave and actually go and save her people. How many of us? How many of us know that we need the strength of the Lord to help us do the right thing? Yes, me too. Me too, a lot of the times, not sometimes. And so, on, honestly, it was very difficult for Queen Esther. But as we read uh, Esther 4, 8 through 17, it actually goes into detail what was going to happen to her people. They were going to be hurt if she didn't stand up for what was right. And so, Esther 5, 1 through 3, talks about how she goes up to King Xerxes and she tells them, she tells him, actually, you know what? Like, I want to talk to you. This is what's going to happen to my people if you don't intervene. And King Xerxes actually ended up liking her and wanted to be her friend and wanted to help her. And so he was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much for telling me. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to go and get all the people who wanted to hurt your people and we're going to stop them from doing that. They're not going to be able to go near your people at all. And so Honestly, I hope you read the book of Esther for yourself, um, but I'll go ahead and tell you, you know, how it actually ends, ends, you know? So she, again, like I said, she pursues the king and not only does he help her out, but she becomes the queen. And so not only is that kind of how the Lord has the ability to help us out, but he, God, has the power to help us out and give us more than what we could ever think or imagine. And so Esther had to make a difficult choice. And she could have started and and she could have started to to be mad and complain and be scared and sometimes we do feel that. But she made a choice to not remain silent. And she got involved and she risked her life to do what was right. And so as kids Sometimes we don't have to make choices that are that difficult. The choices that we actually have to make are, they kind of look like, should I wear a blue shirt or a green shirt to school today? Or should I wear um, pants or a skirt? Should I eat Cinnamon Toast Crunch for cereal? Or, hmm, Honey Nut Cheerios? Those are kind of the questions that, that look like when we're kids. But those are not the questions that we're talking about. We're talking about the hard questions, the hard ones that kind of look like, should I be nice to my new classmate who's having a hard time making friends? Should I go sit with the person um, that looks like they're lonely? Those are the ones where we need to invite God and ask him, how would you like me to respond to this? How would you like me to be obedient, God? Please give me the strength and the courage to make the right choice. How do I stand up for people when they can't stand up for themselves? And God is the one that gives us the courage to do that because every superhero needs that. And I, what I love the most about this is the Bible teaches us that, yes, there are superheroes that are men and there's superheroes that are women. And that's something new that we're seeing now, where, for example, we have Gamora, <laughs> we have um, Wonder Woman. Before it wasn't like that. And so all of God's children, all of God's children have the ability to be heroes now with the help of Christ. And so I hope something stuck with you today. I know that there's much more to go into detail with uh, Queen Esther's story, but um, you can go ahead and do that on your own, or we can help you here, or you can invite your parents to read the book of Esther um, and together, and you can go through it together. And so we're going to go ahead and pray out, and that way, uh, that way we'll be able to, um, you know, come back and learn more. God, thank you so much for what you have shown us today. I ask that you give us the strength and the courage to be able to put it into practice, Lord. Um, 
Yeah, we love you, and we thank you for everything that you're teaching us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bye!